Winding a current transformer for a Tesla coil uh, can be made from a standard ferrite uh, ring core uh, of a suitable permeability. Uh, what I use here is uh, a single wire from a Cat5 Ethernet cable. When you wind a gate drive transformer, it is useful to use the complete cable where you have four twisted pairs, which is perfect for making one large primary uh, and four wire, four pairs for the gates of the MOSFETs or IGBTs. But here where we are making a current transformer, um, we just want to use a single wire. And the easiest way to pull three meters of wire uh, through when winding a current transformer is not to take the end of the wire and put through, but simply that you push the wire through like this with one finger, you grab the loop and you can pull the wire through easily. So that's 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, um, this is a 1 to 50 turn radio uh, current transformer for a QCW uh, tester coil where I need a little more feedback than from the regular cascaded 1 to 33 to 33 on two ring cores for 1 to 1000 ratio. But um, more on this uh, Tesla coil later. I just wanted to show this small trick when winding a ring core by hand that pushing the loop through and pulling the wire is the easiest method to get a nice even distribution and that the wire doesn't get caught up in itself and gets twisted and make, makes kinks on the uh, wire and so on. Well, that was my little tip. Thanks for watching.